Hey guys, in this tutorial on how to use the Qt Game Engine, I'm going to teach you how to get a basic blank map in game up and running. We're not going to do anything fancy here. It's just to show you how quick and easy it is to get something up and running with the Qt Game Engine. So I'm going to turn off my camera now. I'll turn on my screen recorder and we'll dive right into the code. This one should be pretty short, so I'll see you soon. Hey, so let's go ahead and get a basic Qt uh, game up and running. So it's really simple to use the Qt Game Engine in your project. You just have to create your project, your Qt project, just as you would any other time. And then you copy the QGE folder to the same place that your profile is at. So to the same place that your project is at. And then you will make one minor modification to your profile. So let me show you by example. Once you download the Qt uh, Game Engine from GitHub, this is basically what you'll get. The most important folder is this QGE folder. That's what we'll end up copying. But first, let's go ahead and create our Qt application. You do this just like you would any other Qt application. So I'm not going to explain these, I'll just show you. File, new file or project, application, Qt widget application. We're going to choose it. Uh, this is where you want to place it and all that stuff. I don't care. I'm going to choose just this compiler. I'm going to choose as little skeleton code as possible, no version control. And I'm going to get rid of some of the uh, generated skeletal code. And there we go. We got ourselves a basic cute application. Now we're going to take this QGE folder. Oh. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it in the same place as our profile of our newly created Qt project. So right here. Okay, now we'll make a slight modification to our profile. You just have to include QGE slash QGE dot pry. And that's it. Now you, your application can use the uh, Qt Game Engine. Uh, also known as QGE. I've been calling the Qt Game Engine QGE. Those are equivalent. Okay, so let's get a basic map up and running. We're going to need a few classes. So we'll need the uh, game class, the map class, and the map, oh, not the ability class, map grid class. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a map. Then we're going to create a map grid. A map grid is basically exactly what it sounds like, a grid of maps. The reason for this will become clear in future tutorials because you can have multiple maps and you can have things moving between the maps. Alrighty. Now we will put the map inside the map grid. The map grid is a grid so it has a bunch of locations and you can put maps inside each of those locations. So we will put um, our created map inside 0, 0. That's the position that we want to put the map in. Um, we got a map, we got a, we got a map grid, we've added the map inside the map grid. Now we just need to create a game. You can think of as, uh, the game as, a, as the all-encompassing class. Um, or as the window that visualizes maps. Okay, so the game, uh, you, you need to pass it the map grid that it will visualize and the starting map. So games actually really visualize maps, but you have to tell it the map grid as well. So we want it to visualize the map at 0, 0 inside this map grid. And now we'll just launch the game. And that's it. We'll go ahead and compile this. It's going to take a little bit of time to compile the first time, so I'm going to cut out the compilation and I'll show you what pops up in a second. And here we go. With just a few lines of code, we got this. Uh, it's not much, but for such little line amount of code, this is actually quite a bit. We got a game or a window up and running and we got a little blank map over here. 
So um, I hope that what you take away from this tutorial is how easy it is to use the Qt game engine in your own Qt project and how easy it is to get stuff up and running. I promise that you're going to see a lot more cooler stuff, way cooler than this blank map in the future videos. So I hope you decide to stick around. Some of the things that may interest you is uh, we're going to have inventories, enemies, um, GUIs, shops, uh, lots of other stuff very quickly. So I hope to see you guys. I hope to continue uh, to see you guys in future tutorials. Bye-bye.